All right, today we're going to talk about creating a four-year plan, why this is important, and other important information from the guidance office. All right, so first, before you make a four-year plan, I want to talk about a couple things briefly. So in creating a four-year plan, part of our goal as counselors is we know that students' interests and goals will change throughout high school. So this four-year plan is really a snapshot of a student's interests, goals, and just overall plan moving forward through high school. So by the time we're finished with this initial four-year plan, um, we want students to, to, to give us as much information as possible on this four-year plan. And so this page that we're looking at right now shows several pieces of information that we'll be requesting. I'll go through this more in a second. So student name, graduation year, goals or vision. Again, this can be very general or very specific. Um, if, if your student has any career choices, this is where they would write that information. College vocational choices. Are they interested in the military? Are they interested in sports in college? And then the diploma type. We're also sending a link to this document right here. Um, this document shows all of the diploma options for students in high school. Most students at Fishers are probably working towards the honors diploma or the core 40 diploma. But if you click on this link, it will take you to the diploma options and you can read more about the different requirements. So again, when we're working on the four year plan, the first thing we're gonna do, we want students to write their ninth grade schedule. They're gonna fill that in completely. And if they took any summer classes, they'll write that in as well. Um, the next big part of the plan is really thinking about next year and then really kind of looking at, hey, what will, what will my student take their sophomore year? If you click on this link right here, this will take you to a link that shows you what all the 10th grade classes are. And so every class that a 10th grader could potentially take, would, would um, you can get there by clicking on this link. So this is really good. And then if you really want to look at the entire curriculum guide, which is awesome, you can look at every single course and read more about all of them. Click on this link down here. So, so these are really, again, like, like the three links that are really helpful. Again, we have the diploma link. We have the list of 10th grade classes, which is really helpful. And then we have the entire link for all the, um, all the classes, which is a curriculum guide. Okay. Um, we're going to talk briefly about the back side of the four-year plan sheet. Um, I'll get there in a second. And then finally, we really want students to keep a copy of their four-year plan and really take ownership in, in maintaining their plan, you know, talking to us if they have any questions about, but really, our goal is for students to take initiative, to really um, you know, be the ones filling in the plan and asking questions. And we wanna help them develop that plan, but we want them to keep a copy of it. So eventually, um, your student can email this plan to us. This is my email address. Um, they can also drop it off at guidance. Ultimately, we're, we're gonna meet with every single student and every student will have a plan that we'll continue to, to work on throughout high school. All right, the next page, this shows a blank for your plan. Again, um, nothing is filled out. A copy of this page um, is attached to the email or you can always contact one of the guidance counselors and we can share this with you. And so this next slide, I'm gonna show you what a filled in plan looks like. And so Freddie Tiger loves Fishers High School. His student ID number is 123456. He's graduated in 2022. His goals and vision is teaching, helping others, have a family, travel the world, and he wants to get a 3.5 GPA, which is really great. Um, right now, his career choice is he's thinking about being a high school counselor. Um, he loves research, so maybe something with research. A couple colleges he's thinking about are DePaul, IU, and IUPUI. He is not interested in the military. He does play soccer, and he's interested in maybe playing soccer in college. And then after reviewing the diploma options, he decided he wants to pursue the core 40 with academic honors diploma. And so that's that. And so looking down here, this is our four year plan. So every single year, we have freshman, sophomore, junior and senior year. So freshman year, Freddie wrote in his schedule. He's got English nine, geometry, biology, world history, French one, 3D art, PE second semester. And then he took a study hall every year or for the full year. He took health and summer school, which is why I wrote it down here. So I'm planning for next year. 
He's decided to take Honors English 10 because he's done really great in English. His teacher recommended to consider Honors English. He's going to take Algebra 2 because that's the next math after geometry. And he asked his teacher. Um, the next science is chemistry. He's going to take that because he has pretty decent grades, A's and B's, and he really likes science. And he's pretty strong in math. Um, he took French 1 last year, so he's going to take French 2. Um, he's not going to take the social studies because he took world history as a freshman. Technically, he really doesn't need to take another history class until his junior year, which is U.S. history. So he's going to skip that for now. Um, he took 3D art last year, so he, he decided he loves 3D art. He's having a really fun time in the class and wants to take ceramics. So, again, he's met the prerequisite, which is 3D art. He's going to take ceramics. He's also learned that he loves art. He wants to take more art classes, so he's picked 2D art for his second class. Um, he also likes computers, so there's a class called AP Computer Science Principles class. Um, he's going to add that to his schedule, plus he has friends who told him it's fun, and he talked to his counselor, who also recommended it. So we're going to add that, and then he, again, he thinks the study hall is very important, so he's going to add a study hall. So then as we go through the rest of the four-year plan, you can see junior year, we know he's going to take more English, another math, another science, social studies, and another foreign language. As we get farther into the four-year plan, students have more and more options, so it's really hard to know all of the classes that students will take. So I would encourage you to fill out as much of this as possible. However, please know that this is going to change, and as students get older, they're going to learn more about these classes. So try not to stress about it too much. Fill out as much of this as you can. And then, again, like I said, as we meet with students throughout high school, we'll update this information. All right. On the very back side, we call this the credit checklist. Your counselor, your student's counselor, will use this list to track all of the credits students need to meet in high school. So this is really important. Um, so as counselors, we're tracking all this information. We're looking at GPA and credits and making sure kids have enough credits that they need. Down here under notes and reminders, this is one of my favorite parts of the four-year plan. This is where we get to know our students better. So if your student's interested, if they're involved in a sport or club, if they volunteer with their, you know, a local charity, whatever they do, if they have a job, please write that here. And this lets us know what your student is involved with. So I'm going to click on this next one. So again, Freddie Tiger, he is working on the honors diploma. He checked right there. He's in the class of 2022. And down here, um, actually, yeah, Freddie actually wants to do cross country. So he brought cross country, he's in the key club, he's in his church youth group, and he loves photography. So again, this is kind of, this is an area too that counselors will use throughout high schools. We get to know our students better and we'll track their different involvements. So again, that's kind of the basic for your plan. Um, this next page just shows some information <clears throat> that we like to share with parents. And this is all about helping students find success in college. So we believe that every student is capable of success. Every student, by doing a few things and really continuing to work on these things, can have a great experience at Fisher's High School. A couple things I want to point out. Number one, attendance is really important. If students can get to school as much as possible, um, again, unless they're deathly sick, their, their performance in school will be way better. And so attendance is really important. Positive attitude, we know that every day you know, it's hard to have a great attitude every day, um, but it is important to arrive at school ready to learn with a growth mindset and to be as positive as possible. Effort, effort's really important. Again, as students put forth their best effort, they seek help, they go to tutoring, they connect with students and staff. Um, teachers notice this, you know, students notice this. It's the best, one of the best ways to be successful is by learning and trying and, and doing your best every single day. Another thing is getting connected. We find that when students are connected at school in an organization or club, they're going to be way more successful in high school. Finally, embracing failure. You know, this is one that's kind of hard for students and for people um, to connect with at times. However, every student will fail at some point. They're going to struggle with something in school, at home, some kind of challenge, something that they're stressed out about. However, high school is a really safe place for this to happen. And it's our goal that students learn uh, by failing. You know, again, like failing's not an ideal thing. It's not something we want people to experience. But in life, everybody 
has to deal with failure. And we're hoping that as our students, you know, have experiences where things don't go great, that they can learn from those experiences. And that can really help them um, build some resiliency and preparing for life after high school. So I just wanted to point on that, point out that really quickly. Naviance is a tool that students will use throughout high school. Students were just given their access information for Naviance. Again, there are lots of great reasons why kids would use Naviance, college research, career assessments, resume builder, and much more. Here's a link. Again, this document will be sent to you. And so you'll be able to visit Naviance and learn more about it. Students will have lots of testing in high school. Everything from PSA test, PSAT, SAT, ACT, I-STEP testing. You'll learn more about testing as we move forward in high school. Getting connected in high school again is really important. Here's a link to some of the club and volunteer opportunities that kids can get involved with at school. So please check that out. Secondly, athletics. We have many athletic teams and organizations that kids can get involved with. So please click on this link to learn more about that. Um, how can your students reach their counselor? Students can stop by, they can email their counselor, they can fill out a yellow slip of paper, they can catch us in the hallways, they can see us before or after school. So just know we want to see our students. It's very important to help them with any questions that they have. So please get to know us. Um, finally, there are a lot of ways to follow us on social media. We put out a ton of information through Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And we now have a YouTube channel, which we'll be sharing all these videos. So these are really great ways to follow some of the important information that we put out. We have a really solid guidance team. Um, this is just a really quick page that shows our contact information um, and all of the counselors. So again, we are really excited to get to know you. We're really excited about this school year. So please reach out to us anytime. Here's our contact info if you need to reach any of the counselors. Um, I'm going to go backwards. These are all the emails for every counselor. And then finally, hey, this is us. This is the guidance team. Again, we're excited to get to know you guys and work with you. Please reach, reach out to us anytime with any questions or concerns. We're here to help you. Thanks for watching this and have a great day.